Is this hell? Well, I could have seen it coming. I'm telling you, Mom. All your temper turges are crazy. And the teacher said, Victor, is the right here in the classroom with us right now? <laughs> I almost pissed myself. Slow down. You'll get your clothes all dirty. I'm the head of this family, and I deserve respect. You'll put me in an early grave. This is the end. Did you not hear what I said? This is the end. I was wondering why you'd bother me again. You needed me, so here I am. It is time for the trial. What trial? Is this some sort of court? trial over the conscience of Viktor Schultzky. Of what do I stand accused? And what weighs on your conscience? You're a thaumaturge, as was your father, your grandfather, and your great-grandmother. You've always thought of yourself as better than others because of that. The defendant admits to his own pride. My power also reminds me daily of the disappointment I felt after you disposed of me instead of protecting me. Rubbish. I always understood you and did everything to protect us, at any cost. You're a fool if you still don't understand. Have you come down a peg now? Because you know that your prank cost your father his cooperation with the Ohrana? Is that it? We can end by saying that I realized how much I threatened the family at that time. And exile was not cruelty. It was mercy. And the Black Grimoire? You always coveted it. And behold, according to the last will, it's yours. Do you think this means you've never meant anything? Have you changed your mind? Are you ashamed of your past glibness? I guess it's not a crime to change your views, right? Not at all. Go on. I'm not finished. It's all right. We have all the time in the universe. A clay colossus. A beautiful, destructive force. The threat you visited upon us. Yes. And do you understand why? Good. So you understand that every victory requires sacrifice. And the end only justifies the means. And so, you passed on the golem to another Tempromancer. Correct? I regret how the business with the golem ended. You mean how you ended it? What about Ligia? It's your fault her flaw was torn from her, by a stranger. Your sister will never be the same again.
So, the defendant admits guilt and shows contrition. Go on. It's not over. Certainly. So, what's next? Your twin sister. Despite not having your power, she was only ever kind to you in this cruel world. She was genuinely happy to have you come back to her. She was alone here. That's very noble of you, but is there room for a caring sister in your plans for the future? I don't think so. Soon you will be left alone again, and in time, no one will remember you. Do you mean to say that you don't care? Supposedly. We only live as long as someone remembers us. After that, all traces of us disappear. That's enough. Accusations and evidence have been presented, and witnesses as well as jurors have expressed their opinions. Are you ready to hear the verdict? I want to hear the verdict. What do you think the trial has revealed? It made me realize that I regret my decisions. And you think that's the way it should be? Yes, I acted against my own conscience and am now consumed with regret. The verdict is... guilty. Guilty of self-involvement, suppressing his conscience, and breaking others at will. Guilty, guilty, guilty. This cannot end like this. And it won't end. In on one of the paths. This is the only way you can atone for your transgressions. Are you talking about Rasputin and the Coterie? There may be other paths available. Which one do you prefer? Why the Coterie? I believe that they are the answer to troubled times, and that they will be my rock. So, you accept everything that was meant for you, and you will use it as you see fit. Are you happy with events taking this course? Yes. I want this. So, remember what it is you're feeling now, when the time for the trial comes. And you, what would you do in my place? I died beneath that tenement house. What you see is an embodiment of your pride, conscious, or doubts. Those are the things you're hardening with. Don't You are your own worst enemy. Go now. Let's meet in paradise, the garden near the fountain. Satan has asked to sift all of you as wheat, 
but I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. I'll think about this later. Yeah. Christ, don't sneak up on me like that. How do you feel? You took care of me. Thank you. Forget it. I wouldn't have managed it on my own. Grazinka helped me. Are you sure you don't want to rest some more? Is everything all right? You look concerned. That's because I am. Whatever is happening on the streets right now, it scares me. Is that why you unearth Papa's musket? Does it still work? Just now I thought I would find out. Before you woke up, they shot a man on our street. He crawled away somewhere, but he was bleeding so badly. The entire city has gone insane. The governor general has closed the borders and isn't letting anyone leave. People have barricaded themselves in their homes. Maybe the Russians are waiting for us to kill each other ourselves. And they may be right. Only madmen roam the streets now. I won't let you get hurt as long as I live. I promise. In that case, I wonder how long it will last. Did you intend to inform me that you escaped from the Citadel? I'm not responsible for what's happening in the streets now, if that's what you're implying. I'm the one who was injured, remember? I'm just worried about you. Besides, I guess I'm most worried about Grazhenka right now. Did someone come here when I was asleep? Did we have any visitors? Apart from myself, uncle, and Grazenka, I didn't let anyone in. The streets are not safe. Why do you ask? I found an unusual letter on the nightstand about a garden of paradise. What letter? The only garden that's being talked about now is the one at Dolinka Schweizarska. The Tsar and his entourage are planning to have a garden party in a park there. Would you use the phrase garden in the east to describe Dolinka? In the east? Dolinka is south of here. The only eastern thing about it is its guests. What is this party at Dolinka Schweizarska? The Tsar is celebrating his son's birthday. This chaos in the city. How long has it been going on? Three days. Uncle brought you here, half dead, three days ago. Do you know what day it is? Hold on. The last day of summer. I'm sorry, I don't have anything for you. You have risen from the dead. That has to be enough for me. At least until Christmas. I thought you. 
your brother didn't bother to mention that, Miss Ling, yeah? You'll be coming with us, Mr. Shulsky. Why do you torment our family? What are you hoping to get out of it? And how the hell did you get the keys to our house? Dear Ligia, please try to understand that it was your brother who brought these dark clouds down upon your family. I'm just trying to disperse them without bloodshed. If you don't resist, I give you my word that no harm will come to your sister. Shall we? You are leaving. Straight to hell, you son of a bitch. If you think you will take me away from my own home, you are mistaken. No, Chief. We'll finish this here. I didn't receive an invitation, so I decided to drop in on my own. After all, today is a Shulsky family holiday. Mr. Nyajits. Warsaw will get rid of two pests today. We seem to have some unfinished business. Get in line. I'll gladly watch. And because they'll probably botch the job, I just might finish it for them. My way. <laughs>
I won't beg for mercy, if that's what you were hoping for. I had a feeling these incompetent blockheads wouldn't finish the job. It's a good thing I loaded my gun today. You've just been presented with an opportunity to return to the path of righteousness, Mr. Nijitz. Perhaps you'll... Shut up, ghoul! Friendship is dying here. Maurice, what are you doing? You should ask yourself. You're not there when I need you. You despise my coffee, and you still owe me five rubles. Is this supposed to be friendship, or what? Not now. Did I choose the wrong moment? Fine. I'll wait. Will you leave my fresh corpse to your sister as a gift? Blood soaks into stone for many long years. A unique birthday gift. I won't kill you. So you're a fool. There is no place in the world where you can hide from me. Consider it a birthday gift. Don't say anything. Because now there's nothing you could say. About it, did you? The Shulsky family. We'll never be squared up now. You owe me a debt. And if this ever comes out, I'll know who lets slip. Curtain call. Nejitz exits the stage. Silence follows. I guess we have to clean up in here. Yes, it's better that Grezina doesn't see it when she returns. Yes. Done. It doesn't even show. It's as good as it gets. You've known me better than anyone for so many years. You were always with me, and you always will be. We have to talk about our future. Any ideas?
Let's not waste any more time. Let's try to resurrect my father's cause. Let's return to our magical friends. Rasputin will have to return from the dead 